Hey everybody, it's Jody here and I'm back with a video that I hope is going to be very helpful for you. I'm making this video in direct response to a question that someone asked me when I did my live video here on YouTube last month. And the question was, what do you do when you've reached a plateau with the ukulele and how do you overcome that plateau? So I think this is something that a lot of us can relate to. And it basically means you've you picked up the ukulele, you learned a handful of chords, you learned how to strum, you learned how to sing and strum at the same time, and then you just kind of stopped and hovered right there and you realized you haven't progressed in a long time and you haven't improved in a long time. You've just kind of stayed in the same skill set. Now this is very natural and I think it's actually um, important to take these little pauses in your development. But um, if you're watching this video, then I'm assuming you want to know how to get past that and how to get to the next level. So there's kind of two parts to this video because I assume, I'm, th I'm thinking there's kind of two things at play here, two reasons why you, you're stuck in this plateau. And the first one is because it's kind of uncomfortable to, um, to continue. And the, the antidote for the plateau is kind of boring and tedious. Are you ready? I'm wearing Devin Scott's shirt today because he, his advice is my advice. <laughs> this is what he said in his workshop when I saw him last year, last January. So are you ready? This is how you do it, guys. This is free advice right here. No charge for this. This is what you do to get better at the ukulele. Practice. All right, now, I'm sorry there's not some easier magical answer to this. It's just all boils down to practice. And practice can be boring because it, it basically means repeating the same thing over and over until you get it. Keep trying, keep practicing, keep repeating the same thing. So it can be tedious and it can be frustrating if whatever it is you're practicing does not come easily to you. It can be very frustrating. So I want to give you a couple little pointers. Um, what has helped me so much is to set a time limit and give yourself a time limit in which you're going to focus on one thing or one song or one skill. This has helped me a lot and it doesn't have to be a super long time limit either. Um, I think between 15 and 30 minutes is ideal in my own experience. I think more than 30 minutes can be, you can, you reach fatigue, especially when you're really focused. Um, you can reach fatigued and you just, you get tired. And there's this magical thing that kind of happens when you, when you try something and you practice it and you practice it and then you put it down and you walk away. It's almost like your brain is still working on it in the background and then the next time you come and you pick it up, you're already better at it. It's a strange phenomenon, but I, I experience it quite a bit, and I see it sometimes in my students also. So, um, so don't overdo it, okay? And another thing that's really nice about the pre the time limit is that kind of cures this like tedious nature of practice sometimes, because you're like, man, this is so frustrating. But I'm just gonna do it for 15 minutes, and then I can go back to my my playing. Um, there, because there's a difference, right? There's a difference between playing the ukulele and practicing the ukulele. And I think that they are both equally important. I think they're both super, super important because playing the ukulele feeds your soul, right? And it's a huge stress reliever. It, it induces joy. It helps you connect with others. It helps you express yourself. And um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And that's why I remind you every day to play your ukulele. And I think it's important that you do that and not just practice all the time because if you're not having fun, if you're not experiencing joy, it's gonna be a lot harder to keep up with it. And so um, by all means, still play the ukulele, but just when you're playing, say, okay, for the next 10 minutes or however long it is, I'm gonna focus on this skill. So that brings me to the second part of the video, and that is that some people have reached a plateau simply because they don't know where to go next. They don't know what skill to try. They don't know what's the next level. 
So I've, I'm here. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to give you some advice on that as well and just some um, suggestions on things that you can try. Um, I don't think most of these have to be in a certain order, but the first two, if you haven't learned them yet, I think you should sit down and learn them. And the first one is finger picking. If you haven't gotten finger picking yet, that should be your next skill because it just adds so much color to your playing and so much variety to your playing. So when I speak of finger picking, I'm talking about um, just simply playing patterns of, on the strings. Um, this video is not a tutorial on all these different things, but if you're interested in learning one of these and having me attempt to teach you, put it in the comments below. And if I feel qualified, if I feel like I know that skill well enough to teach it, I will do my best. Otherwise, I'll point you in the direction of some other great resources. But finger picking has got to be up there in the top of the list of something that you need to learn to do. And you need to get to the point where you can do it while you're talking, while you're watching TV, and you're not thinking at all because this right hand is, has practiced it so many times that it's just on autopilot. All right. Uh, the second one, uh, the other one that I think should be done right in the beginning if you haven't learned it already, and that's chucking. And chucking is that little sound, that little percussive sound you get. Um, this is a really interesting one because I, in my experience, it's something that just seems to click. You try it and you try it and you try it and you try it and then one day it just clicks and you can do it from then on. Um, and everybody kind of has their own little way of doing it. There's, you just want to get a non-musical sound out of it and not, no notes. Um, so if you haven't done that one yet, that should be your other one. Finger picking and chucking, definitely. Because once you can strum, finger pick and chuck, you can add all kinds of variety to your songs and make them really super interesting and fun. Um, so the rest of these, just see what you're interested in and go, go for that one next. Um, let's see. Uh, chord melody. So finger picking is when you're just playing a pattern on the strings. Chord melody, you are kind of strumming down, but you're also playing the melody. of chord melody um, that's a really fun one especially if you don't like to sing you should really start learning some chord melody because then you're letting the ukulele sing for you um, so that would be a great one and I really like Mike Lynch's songbooks they have helped me a lot they're really um, written in a way for beginners people who are just starting with chord melody but then they can also be used as tools um, for more advanced chord melody so that's who, what I would recommend for learning chord melody. Uh, another one would be um, chords in other positions. So we know this is a C chord, but so is this. We know this is G, but you can also play it up here. Um, there's multiple ways you can play each chord, and it's pretty fun to learn how to play some chords up here. So most of the, all the chords you learn in the beginning are all in these first three frets. Um, so when you learn how to play them up here, then it's, it's a really nice tool, especially when you're playing with a group. And um, you can add a little bit of color to the, to the ensemble. And I've been, I've been doing that a lot lately. And it's also a way to just challenge yourself if you're in a group where the songs are kind of easy for you. It's a way to kind of challenge yourself while you're still making music with with everybody. So yeah, work on learning different positions of chords. That's something I could probably teach if you're interested. Um, and another one would be um, learning bar chords, if you haven't learned those yet. Practice those. Practice um, playing a song in all bar chords, because again, you, if you play bar chords, you can move any chord and learn how to play any chord off the neck. So those are kind of similar. Another one would be learning the notes on the ukulele.
ukulele. So you can start up here, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You can start there. I mean, we already you already know four of the notes every time you tune, G, C, E, A. That's four of the notes. And there's really not a whole lot of notes on, on the, the, the scale is not that big on a ukulele. The neck, the fretboard is not that big. So that's something that I'm currently working on is trying to learn these notes up here. Um, but that's another great thing that you could practice that can just take you to the next level. Another one would be performing. That's one of my favorites. I definitely um, plan on making some videos about that, about tips on performing. And kind of going along with that is also memorizing songs. I think memorizing music is really important and really helps you to internalize it. And then you can kind of make it your own. You're not so fixed on the page and you, you can kind of start to have fun with it the, when, when you've internalized it and you don't have to concentrate so much on the chords. Um, and then performing. Oh, that's so fun. And you could start that even just by uh, on Facebook. You know, there's plenty of ukulele Facebook groups and you can record yourself playing or you can even go live on Facebook if you're super brave. Um, and you can work your way up to an open mic. Um, but you, there are ways to practice performing or even just recording it for yourself as if it's a performance and then going back and watching it. Um, reading music would be another one. I'll post a link. I can't remember his last name. I know his first name is Terry from Youth Like the Pros. And um, he's got some books on reading music and um, I've used them with my students and I, I recommend them. But that can also be really helpful like in the daily ukulele song books when we have music and chords you can pick out the melody if you can read the music you can learn write your own chord melody with it you can learn how to sing it find your starting pitch um learning to read music is is something all of these are kind of building blocks that can all end up working together and that can just help you as a musician. Um, learning to play by ear. This is a fun one too. You can practice this by listening to the radio, trying to figure out what key it's in, trying to play along. Um, and I like to do this in groups when I'm playing in groups. I don't really like to have a music stand. I like to find, I find out what key it is in and then try and hear what's a one chord, four chord, five chord, what do they sound like? Um, and what is a five chord in the key of C? That kind of thing. That's something else I could probably teach if you're really interested. Um, but it's a really fun one. And kind of similar to that is music theory. You can learn some music theory. And once you've done that, you can learn some songwriting. That's a fun one too. I love songwriting. Um, uh, there's so many different things you could do. You could also try um, playing in different styles. You can um, like try and learn claw hammer or other um, specific styles of playing. So I hope this is helpful. I'll, obviously I haven't listed every possible thing that you could work on, but you would be surprised if you dedicate even just 15 minutes a day or 15 minutes most days to learning one of these things, how quickly you will pick it up. Focused practice and repetition are are amazing they 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 really work uh, that's and they're kind of the only thing that works so just embrace it and have fun i hope this helped if you think of something else something that's helped you overcome a plateau or a skill that you um want to learn or are currently trying to learn put that in the comments and again if there's something you'd like to me to go more in depth with a tutorial on put that in the comments so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for my next live video is going to be later this month and I guess that's it. Don't forget to play your uke today and while you're at it why not practice it too. Bye.